Hello, everyone. It's a great honor to be here and uh, present our work, design and analysis of a deployable cluster tensibility cable dome. I'm Mu Hao Chen. I'm from Texas A&M University. And uh, Suo Ma, Xin Fei Yuan, Robert Skelton are my co-authors. To the many nice properties of cable domes, such as uh, lightweight, large span, green architecture, and uh, aesthetics, many of the cable domes are be, uh, has been built have been built. So, for example, the first one is um, Olympic Gymnastics, uh, built in 1986, and after that, many of the uh, cable domes are built. Uh, but uh, these are uh, static ones and not deployable. We are interested in design and analysis uh, deployable cable dome uh, based on cluster tensibility structures. Biology perhaps provides the greatest evidence that tensibility structure is the most efficient structure. So for example, from nanoscale and uh, micro scale, ma uh, macro scale, the surface control of the cell the DNA bundles, the elbows, and spider fibers, they are all consistent with tensegrity models. And uh, after decades of study, tensegrity has shown its many benefits in mass efficiency, accurate model, energy absorption, and shape control. A tensegrity system is a stable network of compressive members and uh, tensile members. If some of the adjacent strings are clustered into one, we call it a cluster tensibility. There are many benefits. So for example, you can reduce the number of strings and sensors, saturators, and related devices. Here's our assumption, and our major, major assumption is that all the structural members can have elastic or plastic deformation. And here's our notations. We use a cluster matrix S to determine which of the strings are being clustered. Using the Lagrange method, uh, we first formulate the energy function, the kinetic and the potential energy, and the non-potential forces to derive the nonlinear dynamics of the cluster tensibility structures. By neglecting the velocity and acceleration terms, we get the static equation in terms of three equivalent forms, in terms of uh, load vector, force density, and force vector. Also, we linearize the nonlinear dynamics, and uh, we can do the model analysis to get the lateral frequency and corresponding modes. Uh, so for a traditional level, level dome, we uses parameters, shape parameters to, to define this uh, cable dome, and uh, we are interested in transferring it into a deployable one. And the first equation, uh, the first uh, uh, question is, uh, how many cluster strings should we use? We are interested in using the least number of cluster strings. Uh, that means we are using the least number of actuators. And uh, from the analysis here that the NC should at least uh, be three, and we use this three uh, as an example. We get the stiffness and model analysis of the eigenvalue and eigenvectors of the tangent stiffness matrix and uh, natural frequency and modes. And the deployment ratio is determined by this uh, radius ratio of the inner and outer radius circles. Uh, inner and outer circles. So for different seats, we get different configurations. So the other thing is uh, we need to make sure this uh, deployment trajectory is uh, feasible and stable. So this uh, number of uh, pre-stress pre modes uh, shows that the, uh, it always has one pre-stress mode. And uh, the minimum eigenvalue of the tangent stiffness, stiffness matrix and uh, natural frequency, they are all positive, means all these, uh, um, uh, the cable dome is stable along its uh, deployment trajectory. And we also do the 
uh, Cosas static uh, deployment analysis to get the member force and rest length. We compiled the static and dynamic deployment. Deployment. So you can see for fast deployment, the radius is um, the dynamic uh, process uh, cannot be neglected, and for the relatively slower uh, deployment, the static and dynamic process is uh, pretty the same. We also implemented a linear uh, feedback uh, shift control law to drive the precision and velocity of the nodes to zero. And you can see from this uh, plot that uh, the, the nodes are smoothly controlled to its uh, final target. Here is our conclusions. And our future work focuses on the economic actuator selection structural robustness and the experiment design and tests. Thank you.